What's up? I'm your host, Jolie Live. And I'm Casey Fifield. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I'm here playing Pucker Up. Casey, are you so excited? I'm so excited. Really excited. Are you sensitive to sour candy? I think I'm not, but I haven't had sour candy in Loki a really long time, okay. so I might be now. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. Okay, yeah. We're going to sure. find out. They're for pretty sure. sour. Okay. Um, you just had a show in LA. Yes. How long are you out here for? I'm out here for the rest of the week, so not too long, but it's a pretty good break from the New York weather. Yeah. It's much nicer here. Because you live, you're in, you go to Columbia. Yes. So you're like New York full time. Yeah, basically. Although I come back here kind of often. Like people make fun of me for it. They're like, you're always in LA. I'm like, guys, there's a lot to do here. Like, yeah. it's important. And with your music, do you yeah. find that it's, it's better here? Yeah, I think I haven't been in New York long enough to really know the music scene. I just know yeah. like a lot goes on here. So like during Grammy weekend, there's like a bunch of events and stuff here. Yeah. Like a lot of my collaborators are here. And just, there's a lot going on here in general, but I do love New York a yeah. lot. Do you find that you are here more than there though? Not they, really. I mean, I kind of have to be there a lot for like, you know, school, stuff. but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, was your plan always to go to Columbia? Like, was that your dream? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was one of my top choices for sure. So I was really yeah. happy when I got in. And I think that the fact that it's in New York makes it so much better because yeah. I have a lot of homework and stuff. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm still in New York City and yeah. it's kind of in the middle of the city. So I can always go do fun things yeah. pretty easily. So before you went to Columbia and you're living in New York City now, where were you living? In LA. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you're living switched coast. Yeah, basically. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna find out all the tea. Awesome. All the juicy answers. You can start with level one. Okay, this is level one? Yeah. Okay. So you posted a TikTok about how you're a college student by day and a pop star by <laughs> night. It's pretty much your life. Mm -hmm. It really is. So what is one thing that your college like classmates, if you call them that, don't know about you? And what's one thing that your music fans don't know about you, like your mm. college life? Well, I'd say that low-key a lot of people that go to my college have no idea how to do music. Yeah. I kind of like post about it a little bit on the low and like yeah but I don't know I'm not like super like in their face about it so people will find out they'll be like how did I not know this like I was like I mean I did music they were like I didn't know that you like actually released it and like put it out there and like had all these songs I'm like yeah you didn't ask to be fair in my defense <laughs> yeah um so like when people ask for your Instagram, like say you meet a friend or something, and they're like, oh, let me see your Instagram, is that when they freak out? I have out? like a separate Instagram okay, for like so. close friends. Yeah. So people from my college, like I give them my private Instagram. That's crazy. Because I don't really want people right away to be like, oh my God, like, and then stalk me and see like my thousands of posts that I've put up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just don't necessarily want that to be people's first impression of me. Yeah. And people will find out. They'll be like, oh my God. And they'll be like, guys. Get some Hannah Montana. It's really chill. It's really chill. Like no biggie. <laughs> yeah. I love that. And your, but your music fans, they know because they, they get your main. So no. they see like mm -hmm. your back and forth and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Do you like yeah. the split life life? I do like the split life. I think it's a lot of fun because for me, I grew up in the entertainment industry because yeah. I like started off as like a child actor. And a lot of the people I knew were homeschooled, but I always went to public school. Yeah. I think it was a really cool balance to kind of have both of those worlds. I think without going to public school, I might have gone slightly insane. And yeah. without having like acting, I also would have gone slightly insane because I love the entertainment industry. Yeah. So I think it balances out pretty well. Yeah. But you, since you started as a child actor, did you always, was music though always your passion or did it come later? I think... Yeah, I've always been really passionate about entertaining people. Yeah. When I was little, I would put on like musical, like acting shows for my family, like all the time. And literally, I'd get so mad when they didn't want to watch it. I'd be like, guys, I'm like putting in so much work right yeah. now. Um, I worked like a dog. No, literally. Day and literally, night. Literally, <laughs> that was me. Um, and I would always just be like singing different songs, like coming up with lyrics, and then also yeah. like recreating scenes from shows. So it was always like kind of those two passions, like my primary things. Mixed, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are really like Hannah Montana. You're like Miley Cyrus. Yeah, like, I like to think so. Hannah. I like to think so. Really great show, so I'd love to, <laughs> be, love that show. love to be like that. <laughs> That's crazy, though, because it's funny that you give out, uh, is it private, the Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, that's crazy. Although like some people have like found it and they like DM me on it, like people who would like I don't know at all. Yeah. And they're like, well, I found you, Casey. I'm like, guys, okay. it's like it's not a big deal. Like okay. it's okay, it's super chill. I found you. Yeah. Like, okay. literally. Relax. Literally. Like you are literally. fine. Literally. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I just I love the TikTok how you were like college student by day, pop star by night. So I was like, we're just gonna start the interview yeah, out with that so because true. that's so it's literally so, so good. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. How did you think it was sour? Mm. It was sour, but like doable. Like, okay, yeah. You're yeah. doing, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. you're doing great with level yeah. one. Ready for two? Yes. So, this little, it's like a game within a game. So, this is write a song. 
Okay. So you're going to explain what you would write about this like specific to topic I'm about to read out that's related to you. Okay. 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 So if you had to write a song about your dating life, what would the title be? Oh. What are some of the lyrics? Um, right now I would call it really boring um, <laughs> because okay. it's really boring right now. I think the first lyric would probably be been in New York for a really long time, thought that things would be a lot more fun than they are, um, doing things with no reason and no rhyme. Um, why have I gone this far, yeah. TBH? Because, yeah, <laughs> nothing going on. It's, nothing. it's rough. It's yeah. rough out there. But you, obviously, like, when people move to New York City, it's like fairy tale city, like the city of love. Yeah. Did you expect to find, do you want um, to find love in the city? I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't know if I necessarily want to find love. I think I just kind of want, like, something entertaining yeah. to happen. I mean, there's, like, you know, like, a couple of small things, but, like, nothing crazy. And it's like, people were like, oh, my God, when you go to college, you're like, dating life is going to go insane, especially because yeah. you're in New York. I'm like, guys. I don't know. Yeah, but literally all my friends were all going through the same thing. We're like, what? Like, we're literally like in we're college. What, what is going on? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you, are you going, do you party there? Like, do you go out a lot? Or I mean, like, I'm not a really big going out person. I like, yeah. I did it over like Halloween weekend and stuff and like, you know, like the main things. But I don't really do that too much. And I feel like even if like I went out all the time, I still wouldn't find someone that I want to date there. Like, yeah. I just don't feel like that's where I'd want to meet someone necessarily. Yeah. Were you in a relationship here before you? Left for no. New York? No. Okay, so at least you didn't have to break up with anybody no. or like yeah. end it with someone yeah. because you, you now live on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Really boring. Yeah, really boring. <laughs> okay, write a song. Do you have an ex? No. Okay. No actual exes, so. Situationships? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what I'd classify anything as. Okay, then if you had to write a song about your ex situationship. Um, do I eat another candy yeah. or something? <laughs> yeah. We're not, we're not bringing, bringing we're not, it up. We're not we're bringing, bringing it up. It up. Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> okay, I'll eat too. These are really sour too. I know, they get you. I know. The small but mighty. Okay, write a song about your goals. What would the title be? Um, my goals? I mean, it would basically just be a song about music. Yeah. Because I just want to continue pursuing music and continue growing my music career. So I guess I'd call it like... I don't know, this is gonna sound really cheesy, like a year of growth or something. Yeah. Um, the lyrics would probably be about like how I wanna keep playing shows, keep like reaching new audiences, keep writing songs I love. Yeah. Just like all the all the good stuff. Do you have like a big old like Madison Square Garden or like Coachella or like I really wanna play the Greek theater. That'd it's be like sick. not as big as Madison Square Garden, but for me, it's like the perfect size venue because I've seen amazing shows there and it's like big enough to feel like, wow, this is an incredible crowd. Yeah. But also, like, small enough to still feel a little bit intimate, and, like, you can still see the artist, like, pretty well, even from the back. Yeah. It's, like, amazing. It's beautiful, and it's outside. Amazing sound. Amazing. What have you gone to the theater for? What, co concerts? Um, I went there for Conan Gray. I love uh, Conan Gray. Yeah. It was amazing. I also saw Sabrina Carpenter. I saw Keshi. saw a bunch of random shows there. For Conan Gray, when you search your name, one of the search I know. results, like, I ends know. with his name, is that because you covered him or something? Or, like... Um, I honestly don't know why. I think it's because I'm just like outspokenly a big fan of his. <laughs> yeah. So I guess like people look it up. I have covered like multiple of his songs, but like I don't really know necessarily why that's one of the main things. It's the main thing. Like yeah, it comes like, right up. I was like, are they dating? Like what's yeah, going on here? No, like literally. Um, <laughs> Literally, I have met him in person one singular time. Yeah. He definitely does not know the internet's who I like, am. We but, yeah. them together. No, it's so funny. Uh, I need to ask because I was like, is there something I don't know that I should know about <laughs> I you wish, two? I wish. <laughs> okay, you did good with write a song. Awesome. And uh, you ate it. Well, you kind of failed the level because you had to yeah. eat another one. But that's okay. It's okay. They were they were yummy. I you said. can you can redeem yourself. I know. I can. So. Okay. So you have been actress most of your life. You added your YouTube era. You're back on YouTube. We saw that. So a big internet presence most yeah. of your life. Was, so what's one thing that you look back on from your age now to then that you wish that you could either redo mm. or redo differently? Like you want to relive it or redo it? I would love, oh my gosh, this is so niche, but I had a huge <laughs> slime era where I had a ma major like slime account on Instagram and also I sold on Etsy. I like would travel all over. It was just amazing. It was like kind of the peak of my existence. I would oh. love to relive my slime era. <laughs> it was so fun. I had like, 
I would go to slime conventions and people would recognize me. Like my username was Slimy Squishy or something. They'd be like, oh my God, you're Slimy Squishy. Uh, then they take a photo with me, like as a slimer. I'm like, this is so crazy. Like, it's a slimer, slime. you were a slimer. I was, I was like, it was so epic. And I don't know, I was like 12 when I started it. Yeah. And I was just literally basking in Thriving. the glory. It was amazing. Thriving. I was like, I was, it was the time of my life. I'd love to relive well, it. Well, I was looking at your TikTok repost, and you had a lot reposted about slime. Mm -hmm. And I was like, she must have this, like, yeah. slime obsession or something. No, every single TikTok that's like, oh, every hot girl had a slimer, I'm like, repost. 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 Smash so the yeah. repost button. Same thing with, like, Hamilton. That was another one of my, like, crazy there, A lot of them eras. are you yeah. repost or Hamilton or slime. Yeah. I was like, this girl is like, <laughs> what's I'm, going on here? I've lived a lot of lives, let's just say. <laughs> okay, but you, I have a question about Nickelodeon, um, when you were on Nickelodeon. But... Since you're a huge slime person, mm -hmm. do you know what Nickelodeon slime is made of since you I, were on Nickelodeon and love slime? Yeah, I honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I've heard that it's like they use some sort of like yogurt-ish thing because it's like, well, it's not fully edible, but it's non-toxic because I know I went to yeah. the Kids Choice Awards one time. And I just know that like everyone gets like completely dumped in slime, so they yeah. obviously have to use something that's very safe for like you to ingest if you accidentally ingest it. But I would not say that I know the recipe. You don't. I, they didn't tell you when no, you were on Nickelodeon. No, they did not. I probably should have asked them. I should have been like, hey guys, like in order for me to work on this project, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm need, gonna, need, I'm gonna need the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to dive into four. Okay, so this is your Nickelodeon era. So you were Nickelodeon Game Shakers in 2015. Mm -hmm. So spill a Nickelodeon secret. Ooh. Um, trying to think of one that I didn't sign an NDA for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one thing I will say is that the backstage is like as cool as the onstage. They have this incredibly like massive game room with like all these ping pong tables. They also had like the best craft services ever. Yeah. And they had like so many donuts and they were like really high quality donuts like donuts with like cookie monster design on them and it was like donut art basically yeah and just like for free like every single morning um yep. so that was amazing and the backstage was like basically a giant labyrinth oh. and it's like really awesome like genuinely the most beautiful studio ever yeah gorge delicious had we love. like little dressing rooms and those were so nice they had so many snacks in them i'm like they were kind snacks. of like killing it yeah <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, wait, so how did you, so child acting, was that kind of your first, like, I guess you could say bigger gig? Yeah, I'd say so. I was in, like, I think my bigger things when I was, like, really young were mainly commercials. I was in, like, a bunch yeah. of, like, commercials that, like, some of them are still paying me. Like, some of them are still airing, I guess, somewhere. But um, Nickelodeon was definitely, like, the first bigger thing, like, the first, like, really big set that I was on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you always want, like, were you always, like, in front of your, you said you're always performing and stuff in front of your parents. Did, so did you ask them to put you into it? Like, or did it just, like, happen because you were always doing it? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I actually first started acting because I heard this ad on the radio that was, like, how would you like to see yourself on TV? Call this number. I was like, Mom, you have to you call calling? this number. Like, please. <laughs> um, the first time she was like, like, no, no, it's probably a scam. And then the second time she was like, fine, I'll call. Turns out it was like an acting school. And they were yeah. doing auditions. Um, and at this point, I was still living in Chicago. So oh they were doing all these like auditions and stuff. And I got into the acting school. And through them, I ended up doing this talent competition in New York. Mm -hmm. And I did like pretty well. And I got some offers from like agents and managers. Oh, that's crazy. So we're like, OK, we'll give acting a try. And my mom yeah. was like thinking, if she gets older and wants to pursue acting, it's gonna be harder because then I'm gonna yeah. have like high school and like all these other responsibilities. So it's better to like give it a shot now and see if we like it. Yeah. So we gave it a shot, moved to LA for a couple of months. I did like a bunch of different random projects and we just loved it here, honestly. Even aside from the fact that I loved acting, yeah. I loved the like LA environment, I loved my new school. It was just amazing. So we just ended up staying here. Um, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, after that, I was just continuing to try to take all these classes and get better and just. Yeah do more and more auditions until I kept booking. Do you have a favorite, like, commercial that, you, like, not Nickelodeon, but, mm -hmm. like, do you have a favorite thing you did that you look back at and you're just like, that was so fun? Yeah, I'd say there were a lot of really fun commercials I did. Like, there was this one that I did for, I think it was PetSmart, that was basically yeah. just me playing with dogs for, like, hours on end, like, outside. It was, like, the most amazing time ever, and I don't know, it was kind of, like, magical TVH. Yeah. Um, and I just did a bunch of, like, random really fun things because I think that when you're a kid, they really try to make things super fun for yeah. you so that you like want to like keep acting so that you Doing don't cooperate. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I did this other fun commercial that was for a car company and I was basically like building and like playing with this toy car. I was like, I can get paid I had for a this. lot of different I can do like, 
was. I had so much fun. It was such a great time. Yeah. You um you signed NDAs though for everything that you did. Um, for like some things, for like certain things. Yeah. Like for something on Nickelodeon, I had to. Yeah. But like yeah. Other stuff you were fine. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay. Talking about problems. <laughs> This is, this Let me is, see what the question is. Okay. This is really sour. Yep, I know. <laughs> okay, so you do have your EP, Nostalgia Haunts Me, mm -hmm. and it's dropping soon. Mm -hmm. It's on pre-save right now. Yes. Name a song on there and name drop who it's about. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, can I do one that's already been released? Sure. Okay. You are allowed. Self-sabotage is about my friend Bianca. Okay. Um, and she's, she'd be fine with me sharing. So okay. that's I'm like, I can share that. <laughs> like, is she allowed um, to hear this? Yeah, her, like, ex situation or whatever. Yeah. He was, like, really toxic. And her and I were walking through, like, a parking lot. And she was like, I wonder if you could write a song about him. I was like... I can, I can cook something I was like, up. When we danced together, I thought I saw a spark, but more like dying embers left you in the dark. She was like, okay. I was like, I really like that. She was like, okay. Um, so I put it in my notes, and a couple months later, I go back to it. And I just develop it to a full song, and I play it for her. She's like, oh, my God. That's so relatable. I'm like, yeah, it is. It it's is. You, yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. You actually inspired it. Your mm -hmm. ex situation ship expired it. Um, so we can thank him for that. Mm -hmm. we, exactly. She got, we got what we needed out of yeah, exactly. that person. And now whenever there's any sort of like significant date that like makes her like think of what happened with him, we're like, it's national stream self-sabotage day. Yep. Yep. yep it is. Is that your best friend? Oh, yeah. Bianca? Yeah. Uh, her and I are tight, um, and she has inspired a couple of different songs, but that one, that one's like, a lot of people like that song, and every time I'm like, it's so funny because of what it's about. Yeah, and you were just like, casually, she just said, you should write a song about mm -hmm. it. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, how was five? You said it was sour. It was really sour, like, out my tongue is low key burning. No, but it was already when it cost me, so. Yeah, yeah, that's right, the, all the sours off of it, you did oh good. God. Don't pick the green, the green's the worst. Okay. I'll give you a hint. Go with the red. Whoa. Okay. So we, <laughs> the whoa. <laughs> That's your last one though, so no. you just gotta get through the question. Oh, okay, no. so we have established that you are single. Yes. Really boring is your current relationship no. status, mm -hmm. pretty much. But what is your type and how much of your love life, again, affects your music? Or will it? Mm -hmm. I'd say that my type, my type just tends to be like really funny people. Yeah. Um, and also people who can kind of deal with my sense of humor. Because I like making like just random like off-putting comments sometimes. Sometimes I'll have like catchphrases that are like really weird. <laughs> yeah. Like recently I went through an era where I was saying me thinks all the time. Okay. Um, and I thought it was really funny. Um, but then someone <laughs> was like, why do you keep saying me thinks? And I was like, okay, so like I've never talked about I'm not going to date you, yeah, so goodbye. Literally. Yeah, after that I was like done, um, basically. <laughs> You're cut. Bye. Yeah, because like you Next. don't deserve to have combos with me if you don't appreciate my lingo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can't steal it if you're not willing yeah. to say it. Yeah. So goodbye. So I guess just like someone who can, who can appreciate my sense of humor and has like their own sense of humor, that just like tends to be the main thing. Other than that, like nothing really. I actually, yeah, I need them to be like somewhat smart because when people <laughs> yeah. make grammar mistakes, you're I like can't the do you it. are and yeah. like why no, you are. You're why are pretty you? with like the wrong you are. I'm like mm -hmm. I literally can't even thank you for that. Like I can't say thank you. I'm just. Be I like, just got the ick actually. Yeah. Goodbye. You like, can't spell. Yeah, literally. No proper grammar. Mm -hmm. Do you have a celebrity crush? What's like your um, looks type? I don't know. I feel like it varies like a lot, TVH. I feel like with celebrities, it's kind of difficult for me because it's like, I'll see them and I'll be like, yeah, it's like a conventionally attractive person, but it's yeah. like not like, I'm gonna, not going to be like, oh my God, like. Obsessed. Because I've like never met them. Yeah. And if it is somebody who I've met, then like that's not even a celebrity crush. That's just like weird for me. Yeah. So I'm like, no. <laughs> You're my friend. Yeah, literally. Okay, so no specific type. Do you end up? Do you find that there's a pattern in your type, though, based on people you've talked to, or it's all over um, the place? I'd say it's, like, all over the place looks-wise, honestly. Just, like, very similar personalities, though. Like, funny, yeah. like, intelligent, like, witty. Will make fun of me, but, like, not, like, too much. Yeah, yeah like yeah. a good roasting session. Yeah, like, exactly. we're flirting, mm -hmm. but yeah. you're making, like, yeah. we're bullying each other. Mm -hmm. um, do you find that you are the friend that people go to for relationship advice, or yeah. you're receiving it? I go, like, I give people advice all the time. I also, like, give myself advice. I think I'm, like, really great as, like, my own therapist and, like, my yeah. friend's therapist. Um, I think I give really, really good advice. And maybe I'm just being, like, self-centered. But a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people do come to me for advice. And they're like, oh, yeah, like, that's really smart. Like, I should do that. I'm like, yeah. 
Yeah, yep, you should. That's why I told you to and do And when it. they listen to me, it works out. Like, when they don't listen to me is when it, like, gets rough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but would you be willing, like, say you met somebody right now, would you want to be in a relationship, or you like your single era? Um, I mean, I guess it, like, do, I don't know, it depends on the person. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the single era for sure, because then it's like, I can just do whatever. And I'm also, like, really busy. Yeah. But if it was the right person, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah. yeah. Would you, if you met somebody that you liked, would you give them your main Insta, or would you give them your private? Oh, private for sure. <laughs> they, uh, like, they can work their way up to the main Insta. The, like, worst thing, actually, is when someone, like, finds out that I, like, make music, and they, like, see, like, I actually, like, get strings and stuff, and yeah. then they'll be like, oh, like, we should, like, hang out. I'm like, no. No. No, we shouldn't actually. I'm not interested in Yeah, I like when people are like, oh, like, you do music and stuff, that's cool, and they, like, actually talk to me about it before they're like, oh, wait, like, people listen to your music. Yeah, like, it's like, no, you no, need to like me yeah, whether I have yeah, music or not, yeah, exactly. or if I get streams, yeah. like, all this stuff. Oh, my God, if you could collab with any artist, not romantic, <laughs> if you could collab with any artist, who would you want to collab with? Um, not Conan Gray. Yeah, I'll say <laughs> no. I'll stick away from Conan Gray, um, even though he's great. Um, I really like Choice of On. I love his like recent album because I think it's very fun and very like danceable, but still has like its emotional moments. Because yeah. I think having a balance between that is really great. Um, and I think that our writing styles and kind of music styles are close enough to where a collaboration would make sense, but also like different enough so it would also make sense. Yeah, he's really cool though. We like him. Yeah, he's I know great. some of his. What about a female? Um. Okay. Well. This is hard because she's like so huge, but like Lord, I love yeah. Lord so much. She's like, did you do a cover of hers? I've done or like you did something. I've done a couple of covers yeah. of hers, yeah. Um, but I love her. I love her voice. It's so unique. I love her songwriting style. I'm like obsessed with the melodrama album. Yeah. I'm basically streaming it all the time. I loved Royals. Yes. And that, that was, was a good, good one. That was I, I discovered her because of Royals. Yeah. That was a good. She was song. like 15 or something when she put that out. It's like crazy. Oh my god. She was that young? Yeah. Okay, how old are you now? I'm 19. Okay, well, you're killing it. Yeah. Like, you're Trying my best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, how did you like Pucker Up? It was a lot of fun. It got really sour yeah. by the end. Like, my tongue is a little bit numb, I think, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You'll be good in, like, two hours. Yeah. Don't, okay. It will heal up pretty quick. Cool. You'll be okay. fine.